Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Happy Wednesday to all of you ladies and gentlemen. It is hump day. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you three pictures, right? The picture on the thumbnail and the other two pictures that I'm going to show you have something on them that is hidden in plain sight. Everyone can see it, but yet everyone falls for the narrative. And before I start with that, I have to explain to you why it is that I do these videos. This is the Alaska Prepper channel, i.e. the Alaska Prepper community. AP, shouldn't you be talking about preparedness? Well, I'm always preparing. I'm always trying to add to my preps, make my preps better, things like this. So why is it that I do videos like this? It's very simple. I want to make sure that when I leave this physical earth, that hopefully, hopefully, there will be enough people that are awake that our children, not just mine, but our children, our grandchildren, our lineage, will have a better world to live in than what we have now. I think that everyone watching this knows that our world is in turmoil. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know who I put the blame on mostly for that happening. Not that we, that we the people, don't have a certain level of blame. But mostly, I put the blame on governments. And yes, we, the people, allow them to get away with a lot of stuff that they get away with. But eventually, as I've always stated, there will come a time where we, the people, the people of this world, will have had enough to where real change will come. However, if people are not woken up to the lies, to the things that the people that are sitting atop their ivory tower as I like to say, spew on us on a daily basis, either via their own government pundits or the mainstream media, if we don't wake up to those lies, then it's going to be a much longer and tougher fight for humanity to regain its freedom from our overlords as they like to see us. But you have to learn to think for yourselves and you have to learn to wake up and look at things in your own way instead of looking at them in the way that the mainstream media and the pundits that tell you how you should think, you should think. So you shouldn't think the way they tell you to. Think in your own way and use your brain. It was given to you for a reason. So the first thing I want to talk to you about, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, I heard this phrase the other day, and man, it is a great phrase, and I'm probably going to paraphrase it. But Someone said that the best way to contain a people is not by building a wall, but by using fear. You see, fear is a great way to contain people and have them do what you want them to do. So you can keep people in this little block of space just with fear. I saw a movie actually a couple of days ago that has something to do with that. And... Uh, it was about a colony after like the United States was over and all that kind of stuff. And we had some kind of a nuclear war or something like that. And they were keeping this group of people in a small colony, right? In a very small area. And what kept them in, in miserable living conditions, right? Uh, pure, tyrannical living conditions. And what kept them from escaping is because their entire lives they were told that if you go past this line, the radioactivity in that line or the radioactive substance in that line is so much that it'll kill you immediately. So just out of fear, they were able to keep a whole bunch of people in a little space when there was the entire world out there for them to go out and explore and live in, but they weren't doing it just out of fear because they believed what they were told without doing their own research. So the best way to contain a people is through fear and misinformation and lies, deceit, things like that. So I want to show you something really quick because for the last three decades or so, we've been told, and yes, I'm going to bring this back up, all right? For those of you that have heard me talk about this before, this is a new spin on it. I try to, I try to find new ways and different ways to show you things that mean the same thing because different people wake up in different levels at different times. So for the last 30 years or so, they've been telling us, hey, the ice caps are going to melt. The cities are going to flood. 
and uh, you know we're not going to be able to habitate the East Coast or the West Coast of the United States of America and and you know we're going to have to make all of these sacrifices while we the ones that are telling you that you have to make all of these sacrifices are living it up are living our best lives flying in Lear jets you know having the best and most expensive cars living the the most expensive life that we can live because we have so much money and we have so much power you you have to make the sacrifice because if you don't the polar bear are going to die even though in the last 20 30 years or so the polar bear population has just skyrocketed but they don't tell you that they want to tell you that they're dying and that they're starving because the ice is going away. So I started thinking yesterday about this. It all started from that quote. I started thinking about that quote. The best way to contain a people is to feed them fear. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, man, that makes so much sense. And I'm like, how can I wake people up that all of these things, all of these policies, regulations, laws, this ESG stuff, the SDG from United Nations, the Davos, all this stuff, that all of these things that they're telling us are lies in order to keep us fearful enough to be contained in that mentality that they want us to have, that they know everything and we should follow their lead no matter what, not even follow their lead but follow what they say. When we with our own eyes see that they're doing the opposite of what they're saying that we should do. So I want you to take a look at this picture. This is the picture on the thumbnail. This here is the Statue of Liberty all the way back from 1900. This picture was taken in 1900. And then I want you to take a look at this picture from Google Earth. This here is a picture of Ellis Island from Google Earth. And I'm not sure if this will appear in the bottom left hand corner uh, of this uh, video but it was from June of this last year of 2022 so this is from June of 2022 and this is Google Earth and I want you to take a look at this picture and what do you see in this picture compared to the first picture that I showed you now remember they've been telling us that it's our fault that the earth is going to flood because we, us humans, want to live. Because we want to live in houses. Because we want to drive vehicles. Because we want to cook with gas. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see the water line? Now, if everything that they say has been happening, and I'm not a scientist, and I'm bringing you this perspective from a layman's point of view. But look at the water line. This is just from June of last year. Look at the water line on Ellis Island. And now take a look at the water line on Ellis Island back in 1900, 122 years ago. Has it really changed? Are they really telling us the truth? That it is your fault, that it is my fault, that it is humanity's fault, and that all of these ice caps are going to melt and flood the world or flood the coasts. Now, New York is in the East Coast. I'm going to show you a picture from the West Coast. This is Alcatraz. This is the small island of Alcatraz. I'm pretty sure that most of you know that it used to be a prison and now it's a museum. But look at the waterline on Alcatraz. This is in the West Coast. So maybe maybe it was a one-off that maybe the, maybe the polar ice caps, maybe they are melting. But it just shifted to one side and it didn't show up on the East Coast. We'll take a look at Alcatraz Island, a picture of it taken back in 1900. Now, let me go ahead and show you a picture of Alcatraz Island here in the present, a few months back in, nine, in, in the year 2022, a few months back. I think it was in April, but let me show you that picture. This is Alcatraz Island, and this was taken in April of 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Same thing here. This is on the other coast on the west coast of the US as opposed to Ellis Island that was on the, that is on the east coast look at this picture where is the water why hasn't the level of the water completely engulfed this or even changed any in the last 123 years why is it because everything that they've told us everything that they've wanted us to know would say that the level of the water should be higher. Where is it, ladies and gentlemen? That's why I say you have to think for yourselves. You have to do your own research. 
And you have to wonder to yourself, why is it that they're pushing this on us when everything that they've told us that we would see no more snow by the year 2000, I think it was. Supposedly, it was by the year 2000, I believe, that Mr. Al Gore said we would see no more snow. That would be a thing of the past, that everything will be melted. And the fact is, is that the climate, the weather, it shifts. There will be a time when where the polar ice caps are now, there will be a time in the future. It won't be in our lifetimes, but there will be a time where that will be a tropical paradise like the Caribbean's as it once was hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years ago. There will be a time where this here island will be completely engulfed in ice because we are really in the middle of an ice age. We are just in a little blip of time, geologically speaking, where it has gotten warm enough to where human beings can live. So why is it that they are telling us all of these things and these things haven't happened. They haven't come to be. They're telling us that the earth is getting warmer when in fact the average shows that it's pretty constant. When you take the mean of the, of the erratic temperature changes in the earth, it goes up and down and up and down. It actually is pretty constant temperature, which to me makes sense because we are in a dome. We have a dome around the earth. We have an atmosphere that keeps our weather contained in that atmosphere. So where one place of the earth is getting hotter, some other places are getting colder. I want to show you one last picture, all right? Because instead of keeping it in the United States of America, we took it all the way to London. So take a look at this picture. Now the London Bridge was built, I believe it was like in the early 1970s, 1973, I believe. All right, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And uh, this is a picture of the London Bridge from 1980. And you can see the cars. You can tell that it's dated. You know, it's back 1980s. Well, take a look at the pillars. You see these pillars right here? Take a look at the pillars from 1980. And look at the water level from 1980 on the London Bridge. Now, take a look at one that's from a very recent picture. All the way back from May of... 2022 so last year may of 2022 look at the pillars ladies and gentlemen and look at the water level does it look like the water level is going up like they say that it is ask yourselves this question if the water levels were supposed to be going up to where most of the east and most of the west coast was going to be flooded out Right, and this was supposed to be 23 years ago, by the year 2000, I believe. If the water level was supposed to be going up that high, why are banks still giving mortgages to properties that are right there next to the beach? Why are insurance companies still insuring places that are right next to the beach? Why are all of these rich politicians buying homes next to the beach if they apply to the to the i'm not even going to go to the pseudoscience i would say in my opinion that water levels are supposed to be going up because of this climate stuff that they're telling us is happening when my eyes at least don't see that it's happening do you think that maybe there's a reason behind that do you think maybe there's a reason why they're trying to use fear in order to influence your behavior. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, that's the only way that I see it. Because if they use fear, they can control your behavior. And if they use fear, they will see that the majority of the people that don't think for themselves will ask government to think for them and to act for them. That is what fear does. And that's why I say continue to prepare. Unfortunately, most of the population is still living in a normalcy bias, recency bias, and living and seeing behind rose-colored glasses. They're seeing what they are being told to see. They're thinking what they are being told to think. And this is why you need to prepare. Because eventually things will get bad enough, in my opinion, 
that even those people that are completely under the spell of these pundits, even those people, when they will wake up. And when they do, they're going to be very angry. And when that happens, ladies and gentlemen, there will be change. When the people that are calling for this stuff today finally wake up and get angry enough to say, you mean that I've been doing A, B, C, and D at your behest or at your bequest for all of these years when really I shouldn't have, where I could have been living a better life, a fuller life, a happier life, and it's all been a lie? Eventually, people will wake up that we've been lied to for decades. And that's the point, ladies and gentlemen, where real change will begin to happen. But as I always say, before that happens, there will be a lot of pain. So ask yourselves these questions. Go do your own research. You know, go do your own research. Don't just take my word for it. But that's why I do these videos. Because people need to wake up, number one, to the fact that they need to be prepared, number one. And number two, to the fact that everything they're told, pretty much by the mainstream media, by the pundits up in Washington, D.C., and whatever government your, your country has, that those things are lies, that they're lying to you in order so that they can get the results that they want and keep you scared enough to keep you under their control. That's why I do these videos. I hope you got something out of this. God bless every one of you. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm going to ask Prepper. I'm out. He could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that is the that is if our you, job. That is if our you, job. That is if our you, job.